Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a teenager who presented to emergency department with fever, weight loss and night sweat over three week duration. She also had a 12 pound weight loss over the last one year. She had mutation for multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2. Let's look at the chest radiograph which was done in the emergency department. On the chest radiograph, we can see a large cavity lesion with air fluid level with pleural effusion in the right hemithorax. There is also lymphadenopathy in the paratracheal region. Due to the clinical presentation, the radiograph was initially thought to represent necrotizing pneumonia and patient subsequently underwent CT chest examination. On the CT chest examination, we can see a large mass with cavitary changes. On the lung window, we can see few foci of air bronchograms. On the soft tissue window, we can see right paratracheal lymphadenopathy. So the CT images are more suggestive of a cavitating mass rather than necrotizing pneumonia with associated lymphadenopathy. Due to concern for malignancy, patients subsequently underwent PET CT examination. On the PET CT examination, the cavitary mass was intensely FDG avid. We can also see precarinal and paratracheal lymphadenopathy. So we are dealing with a teenager who had history of fever, cough and night sweat over three week duration and a 12 pound weight loss over a 12 month duration. And radiograph showed cavitary mass. CT examination showed cavitary mass with foci of air bronchogram. The cavitary lesion was intensely FDG avid. The disease was confined to the chest on the PET CT. There was no disease below the diaphragm. The biopsy showed classic Hodgkin's lymphoma. So we have a patient with primary pulmonary Hodgkin's lymphoma. Primary pulmonary Hodgkin's lymphoma is pretty rare. On my literature review, there were less than 100 cases published so far and it is also very rare in pediatric patient. It has a slightly female preponderance. It has bimodal age distribution, can be seen in patients below 35 years of age and above 60 years of age. Most common presenting symptoms are due to type B symptoms such as weight loss, fever, night sweats and dry cough and our patient had these features. So these features can be confused with primary chest infection like what we initially thought in our patient. In terms of diagnostic criteria, the patient should have histological features of Hodgkin's lymphoma like what we saw in our patient who had classic Hodgkin's lymphoma on biopsy. The disease should be confined to the chest with minimal hilar lymphadenopathy and there should not be any disease outside the chest. Our patient did not have any disease below diaphragm and the bone marrow biopsy was negative for involvement of lymphoma. In terms of imaging appearances, there can be four patterns, can be nodular, pneumonic or alveolar pattern, there can be bronchovascular or lymphangitic pattern, or some patients can have malaria nodules. Most commonly, two or more types can be seen in a single patient. Most common pattern is nodular pattern, and bilateral lung nodules with air bronchogram is the commonest imaging features. Our patient also had cavitary pattern, which has been described in primary pulmonary Hodgkin's lymphoma. I hope you found this case of primary pulmonary Hodgkin's lymphoma interesting and informative. Thanks for your attention.